This week, a friend of mine, we should all live and be well, lost his grandmother. A regular, simple woman from the old country, didn't know how to read Hebrew, didn't speak Hebrew, didn't know how to pray. Every single morning, you could look at her home, she should rest in peace, and watch her praying, because opposite her home was the shul, B'nai Yitzhak, she lived on Avenue S. Mrs. Lulu Lea Sirur Alea Shalom. She would put something on her head to cover her head as if she was in the shul and she would pray like this to the Torah. I saw it every single morning. I thought maybe she knew how to pray. Maybe she's praying by heart. I found that this week she did not know how to pray. She did not know Hebrew. But I shouldn't say she did not know how to pray because what is prayer? Prayer is connecting to Hashem. She did know the Aleph Bet and every single day she would talk to Hashem. She would say, Hashem, I don't know Hebrew and I don't know how I'm supposed to pray. But what I do know is the Aleph Bet and I know that a person is supposed to pray three times a day. Hashem, you're Hashem. The king of all kings, right? You take these letters that I'm going to say and you change them around to make the best prayer possible. She did this every single day. Could you imagine what happens in heaven when a woman says that and she prays the greatest she could pray? It's probably greater than any prayer of t- some we could imagine. We don't judge, we don't compare, but imagine thousands and thousands of people were going into her home to pay respects. A regular older woman, right? You would think, okay, a couple people, the family, whatever it is. I prayed them in Ha on Sunday. There was no air in the room. It was hundreds and hundreds of people praying in Ha. It's the honor of a person who tries their best and does their best, and in Hashem's eyes, a person like that sits right next to the Baal Shem Tov in the VIP seats because she did her best. She had a positive outlook in life. 